Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, so happy that you're here. If you know me a little bit, you know that I'm actually a student right now in Canada, which isn't where I was born. I actually arrived in 2017 in Canada, in the province of Ontario. So basically, after high school, I was like, you know what, I want some adventure, I want some new things. I've never been to Canada before. I went to the US, but it was like expensive, expensive. So I said, okay, what is the best that I can do? And then Canada happened. People keep asking me, oh my god, how do you like Canada? What do you think about Canada? And I basically just wanted to make a video to A, help you if you're thinking about studying or coming to Canada, and B, be able to send the video to someone when they ask me, the same questions over and over because like it's getting really tiring basically i'm gonna give you five tips that i wish i knew before coming to canada first of all you may already know this if you're really good in geography i wasn't canada is huge it's actually wild i don't think the map is drawn properly like seriously for example if you do a flight from like montreal to vancouver which they're basically like new york and la ish it's a six hours flight i knew that new york to la was a long flight like i i know it was in my mind somewhere but montreal vancouver i was like nah it must be like two hours so sad Oh well, now I know. Interprovincial flights are not that cheap. Just be aware, okay? I wasn't, so I'm just telling you about my experience, what I wish I knew, because I got so excited about seeing Lake Louise and like all the touristy stuff, and then I saw the flights, saw the prices. Okay, second, Canada in the winter, of course, depends on the province you're in. Like if you're in Ontario or Quebec, we do get more snow from what I heard, compared to like for example the Victorian islands that never get snow and just rain. I think the minimum that I've ever reached might have been minus 25 degrees celsius. That was definitely an experience but I promise you I don't like the snow, I don't like the cold so I don't know what I'm doing here but here I am. If you're covered enough you're not gonna get cold. If you can, invest in a good coat. That's what matters the most, okay? You're gonna need layers, but that's the next step. Also, after the coat, you wanna cover extremities. So socks, gloves. I actually find that now that we have to wear the mask in the winter, it's, it's actually really helpful to not be cold on the tip of the nose and not have your throat hurt because of the difference in the warm versus cold. Because when you enter a mall or a restaurant, whatever it is, boy, it is hot. The cold is very dry about Victoria Islands. Since it rains a lot, humidity is higher and it kind of gets under your clothes a little bit more. Whereas in Ontario or even Quebec, I don't think it's that bad personally. And again, I don't really like the cold. It's not really my thing. But actually being in Canada makes me not excited for the winter, but I know that I've taken a like for like hiking. I did it once, it was a beautiful landscape. And so compared to Euro, Canadians know how to handle the snow. There are so many fun activities that you can do in the winter. One of them being skating. You don't have to be good at it. I am not good at it. I think it's really fun. And there are so many winter activities because winter lasts long, okay? PSA, seasonal depression is real. Check on yourself, check on your friends because that bitch is not kidding. Okay, my third tip, you do have to tip dollars. If they provide a service, you have to tip them. Again, coming from my experience, in Europe, taxes are included in the bill as well as the tip or like the service tax, whatever it's called. Okay, so if your meal was 18 euros, you pay 18 euros. Whereas in Canada, I remember the first time I went to the restaurants, I had no idea that we're supposed to tip. It was saying like percentage, amount, taxes, and my meal was like maybe $15 and I see that it's put for $16.80 and I'm like, sorry, I actually asked the waitress. I'm really, really sorry. I wish I did research before. I don't know why I didn't. I don't want to pay more. Like what? You already scammed me a dollar and eighty cents. So what do you mean? And so I pay the sixteen eighty and I give it back to the waitress and she's like, "Was my service not good? Like what? What went wrong?" I didn't understand. I was just like, "No. What do you mean? Was your service wrong? You thank you. You were nice. I'm not." What? That's a weird thing to ask. I think she heard, actually, I know she heard my French accent because then she talked to me in French. That was really embarrassing. And she was like, oh, so this is actually what happens when it's providing a service, whether that's like waxing, going to a bar, a restaurant, anything that like the hairdresser really, like where a person provides a service for you if you get a coffee. 
stuff like that. You're supposed to tip from what I, I was told, 15% is the minimum. And then unless you really have a bad service, most people tip between 15 and 18%. That's to your discretion. Just pay your waiters because if you don't tip them, they don't really have, from what I understood, they don't really have any other paycheck. That's why prices are so cheap when you converse them back into euros. Don't be like me. Don't be like, okay, fourth tip. If you are able to, I would highly advise to get a Canadian bank account. The thing is, no matter where you're from, if you pay with your credit card or debit card, whatever, from your own country, you're gonna get so many fees, it's seriously not gonna be worth it. As a student, I had many offers from different banks to open like a free account that was just like, okay, I do have a debit card and a credit card. Since I also work here, I do have my paychecks already in Canadian dollars. So that's way better. If you are looking for a job, you are gonna need a bank account to deposit that money because they don't really do checks. And even if they do, it's not really that international. I think they're a bit weird with the way they handle money. Personal opinion, I'm not a banker. I'm in psych and criminology, so I don't know anything about numbers. That's why I'm in social sciences and not science. So personally, I think it's a win-win, especially around September, because that's where that's when all the new students usually start their years. They do have lots of offers that I would highly suggest you look into. My biggest disappointment, I think, with this country is that, I'm so sorry, but the buses suck. I have never seen a worse public transportation system. Now hear me out. I know my standards are very, very high because Luxembourg is actually the first country to ever make public transportation transportation free for anyone and we do have like bus train and the tram or like light it's a light train it's like a metro but outside anyways whatever that's called here Canada something that would take you like a 10 minute drive it's gonna take you a 40 minute bus ride also tickets are not cheap like in my city I think for one ticket that lasts two hours or something like that it's $375 if you're a student your university most likely has like a transportation pass that you can use if you know that you're gonna use the bus a lot I don't have my license I don't have a car so I know that I rely on either uber or buses and trains and whatever so for me it was important to get a card if you do the math it's much more expensive to buy single tickets rather than to buy like the pass it's a bigger like you're gonna make maybe four hundred dollars in one time but overall at least the, when i did my numbers calculation stuff it was most beneficial for me to get the pass rather than to get single tickets every day but that's just like my personal opinion okay i'm actually applying right now to get my uh permanent residentship so Please cross your fingers for me because that is also so expensive. It's okay. I know what I'm getting into and I'm in it. I hope this video was interesting. If I see there's a lot, I'll just make another video. But if not, I just put your comment down below. I'll do my best to answer it as much as I can. Reminder, I'm not an immigration agent, so I can't help you specifically. Like I can maybe give you tips. I don't work here. Okay, I'm just, I'm a tourist. <laughs> So we can't. Oh my god, actually, bonus tip, because you stay till the end. So basically in Europe, we do like la bise. Like you kiss each other on the cheeks, but it's like whether you're friends or it's platonic or it's romantic, like that's what you do. It's, it's a normal way to say hello. So 101 week, first year in my city at my university, basically I was talking to this guy on Messenger and it was like, oh, I'm at, at your residence. Let's meet downstairs. And then we all, like the whole residence went to get dinner. And so I felt comfortable because I we technically had already talked, even though we've never met before. So I see him, I recognize him. I'm like, oh my God, hey, what are we going to call him? We're gonna call him Jason. Oh my God, hey Jason. I go like, and he, he just goes, what are you doing? And he was Canadian, very important. My English wasn't that good and I was really confused. I was like, well, I'm saying hello, but I guess we can like shake hands, sorry. Then we've never talked ever since. And basically I talked to a friend of his the next week that we got like, closer and I asked and I was like did I offend Jason like is that not a thing to do did I what did I do wrong you know and they were like oh, well in Canada like basically he thought you were gonna kiss him because we don't do kisses on the cheek physical space is very important so I have my space you have your space we respect each other boundaries and I'm like 
oh my god, I should have known. I'm so sorry I made you uncomfortable. Anyway, so then I sent him a message being like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to break in your space. I'm not trying to justify it. In Europe, it's a very common like custom. I'm so sorry it won't happen again. Yeah, I'm just, I, I felt so bad because I had no idea. Different cultures, get used to it, respect people's boundaries. And most importantly, remember to empty your mailboxes because that pollution is not cute. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to put any questions that you have down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications. Send this to anyone that wants to come to Canada. I got you. <laughs> Thank you.